Hi, Lou. Hi, Pedro. One year ago, the cleanup of the encampment here at Echo Park Lake became a flashpoint in the city's homeless crisis. Now there are no tents here to see, and we are learning what happened to those people who had to move out. A little over a year ago, 45 year old Will Sens called this plot of grass at Echo Park Lake home. I found myself on the street suddenly. It was like an oasis, you know. His tent was part of this sprawling homeless encampment that was the focus of a cleanup, becoming the source of clashes between demonstrators and police. <laughs> Efforts to house those in the encampment were touted. We have housed 161 individuals. Who've been experiencing homelessness at Echo Park Lake. But new research published by UCLA finds one year later, few from the encampment are permanently housed. Of 183 people removed from the lake, 17 are in long term housing. Another 48 are waiting for it in temporary programs or shelters. 15 have returned to homelessness. Many are unaccounted for. There's no actual pathway to housing. That's how Will feels. A year ago, he accepted a temporary spot in a project room key at the Grand Hotel with his girlfriend. He is still there. He's part of the research collective behind the UCLA study and thinks city officials should include the unhoused when they design these programs meant to help them. The key message is work along with us. Listen to our, our, our plight. At the lake one year later, a fence remains up around the perimeter. People can be seen enjoying the park. It does like look cleaned up and everything. Though it's really nice to like feel very safe in the park. You know, I didn't feel unsafe with them there. Um, and I just hope that we employ more programs for them so that we can get more people off the street. So Lauren, what are the city officials saying about this? Well, city officials I reached out to in response to these new UCLA findings, they are defending the cleanup of the encampment here. Councilmember Mitch O'Farrell writing in part, the situation that existed at Echo Park Lake prior to March 2021 was not safe for anyone, housed or unhoused, stating it's beyond absurd to claim that Echo Park Lake was somehow more humane than living in a safe, secure, managed environment. And a spokesperson for Mayor Eric Garcetti stating in part, our housing operation in Echo Park was a success. We can put that statement up. He also uh, stated that it shows the city can transition whole encampments into shelter quickly and humanely, but also adding that these longer term numbers show we must also continue investing in long term solutions. Now, back out here live, what is next for Will Sens, who I introduced you to in my story? Well, I'll fill you in coming up at six. For now, that's the latest. Live in Echo Park, I'll send it back to you. Looking forward to